Hello everyone and welcome to this review video of the XP Pen G640. Let's get right into the unboxing. So the package comes with the tablet itself of course in a cute fancy little wrapping. Under there you can find the tablet pen, a micro USB cable, as well as a huge amount of spare per need. Uh, there are 20 of them in total. Even if it seems kind of too much, that's actually very good specificity to have, because I don't know for you guys, but I always end up either losing or breaking all my pen nails. Um, in fact, I wear them quite fast as I drag, unlike most top players I can think of. Uh, so yeah, that's a huge advantage for me and of drag players. Finally, there's this warranty card that warns you the warranty wears off after one year upon purchase, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do after plugging our tablet is downloading the proper drivers on the company's official website. There's our driver. After downloading it, install the right driver according to your operating system. It's not specified anywhere, but I suggest you reboot your computer just in case. Now you should see this icon on your desktop. From here you can pretty much configure your tablet however you want. Although I have to emphasize on the fact that if you plan on using this tablet solely for playing OSU, uh, the pen buttons will get in the way. If you accidentally press one of the buttons when playing, and I can assure you it happens pretty often, your game will stutter and your frame will drop a bit, I don't really know why. So I suggest you disable both of these. Also make sure to disable Windows Ink, cause that shit is not good. Alright, we're ready to play with it to see how it feels now. I have to admit I was pleasantly surprised by the absence of input lag combined with the nice touch the Surface had to offer. I even found out to my surprise that the refresh rate of the XP Pen was actually higher than my Wacom Bamboo. Uh, it felt much more responsive. Also, thanks to this little rubber thingy there, uh, the tablet sticks quite firmly to the desk. No matter what. You can find a more complete list of specification on the company's website. Although I doubt OSU players are interested in anything other than the active area and the pen's accuracy, but here we go. One thing I have to add about it, however, is that it gets dirty very easily, and I weigh my words. I know I'm not the only one to have very sweaty hands, but to give you an idea, this is a tablet 20 minutes after I first tried it. You see these things there and there? That is sweat. <laughs> so yeah, if you have sweaty hands like mine, you'll have to keep it clean and well maintained. All things considered, this tablet has multiple pros, such as its high refresh rate and very low input lag that makes your gameplay very fluid. Uh, there's also its intuitive design, as it doesn't require much settings tweaking before working like a charm. Uh, plus its stability on the desk, of course, which is a must. And finally, the load of spare pen nibs it comes with. Uh, that's truly the cherry on the cake for me as a drag player. However, this tablet is far from perfect. As I already mentioned, the surface gets nasty pretty quickly. Uh, maybe from sweat or other things, in case you're a fat ass like me that regularly eats in front of his computer. <laughs> the price is also quite high in my opinion. Well, not the price itself, because for $40 or 32 euros on the official website, it's not that bad, but you can count at least $10 of fees depending on your country, so that makes it a bit unfair. 
Finally, and for me that's the biggest drawback, uh, the pen button config is super annoying as shown earlier, especially for Rusu players, that are forced to disable them both to truly feel comfortable. So yeah, I don't have anything other to add on this tablet, I hope you enjoyed this simple review. Uh, if you have additional questions, that's what the comment section is for, and I'll see you guys later. Mail.